Morning folks, I did this a uh, year or so ago, this one. It, it didn't quite work, you know, it's probably, I, I made it up and uh, it, the sky was okay, but I'm going to do something different. Well, I'm not going to do something different, I'm going to base this on uh, an acrylic painting I did, I think it was acrylic, uh, on a Norfolk windmill, a small windmill, and trees and all that sort of stuff, and a meadow. My usual stocking trade, a bit different from the one I did yesterday. I had seven likes, including one love. So, uh, and I know somebody that would, would actually pay money for it. So, the one I called, called Martian. Anyway, let's uh, get stuck into this. We've got cadmium red, ultramarine, good burnt, burnt sienna, some Payne's grey, and some yellow, pale yellow cadmium. Cadmium pale yellow. Oh, I must have some some uh, some ochre in this. Uh, just, uh, just a little bit of that. Oh, I've got got my cloth. Right, okay, in, a bit of linseed oil, and we'll get in with some uh, some nice. Just cover the sky here. I've rubbed this down with uh, some rough sandpaper so that uh, it will be the new painting. But I've got to cover up that background as well. So I'll uh, just get some paint on. Just block it out. There is a bit of dryer in this uh, white, so, oops, a bit of towelling. I always uh, put out uh, a sort of an advert uh, for towelling to use as a cleaner, so I don't clean my brush until the end, so I keep them going by putting them through a bit of towel. So that's a good start there. Right, let's get a bit of a... I'll do the sky first. I like to do the sky first. You don't have to, of course. You can do what you like. But I want to put in some darker sky. So we've got... Heavier blue on the the top. Oh, change your hand. Make my I'll make. It's quite a big size, quite a good size. It's 18 inches, or just over 18 inches by 12 inches. Quite a nice landscape format. So a bit of two millimetre MDF. So it's a quite a hard surface to etch into, but uh, I prefer working on 3mm MDF. Right, now let's get some bit of cloud in there. For that I'm just going to use a bit of burnt sienna and white. Oops, phone's going. Right, I'll, just, I'll just put a bit of another dollop of uh, white out, I'll keep that blue up there. Right, so, so I like a bit of burnt sienna in my skies, in my clouds, a bit whiter than that. Uh, you can have big clouds, small clouds, but, but try not to overwork them. It's a big danger. So 
that's got some uh, nice colour on. Um, and I'll just let that sort of go a little bit tacky. I've probably got a bit too high with that, so let's uh, come out of there. Just uh, go back into back into this. It's quite difficult working on a, over an old painting, especially when the, the uh, board itself is quite uh, quite hard, which this one is. It's usually just, uh, sold for backing board you know, in photographs. That's MDF, the three millimeters or the two millimeters for MDF. Okay, well we've got a bit of movement in there. We'll go back to that. Now let's just put in a bit of uh, background because I'm going to put my uh, my uh, trees. So what do I need for trees? Uh, I need a bit of a brush. I seem to have lost one of my brushes. They're dotted about here and there. Uh, So that's a nice warm brush. So uh, my favourite uh, greens are mixed with the three primaries. Uh, ooh, too much blue in that. A bit, of, uh, a bit of a Payne's grey in there as well, just a shortcut. I'll see if I can remember to put a bit of a windmill in there somewhere. Don't worry, in the middle. And we'll have a meadow in front of this. Let's see how easy this is to do. It, it don't. Um, Try and do too much. Leave leave a lot for the imagination. Oh, the trousers are sort of the old corner of the brush. Now I want to keep the horizon horizontal, so red, blue, right, let's get that horizon horizontal, so a bit of, bit of shadow in some of this here. Okay, so let's uh, get a get a brush that will do for uh, a windmill. I don't think there are many working windows now in Norfolk. Well, you could visit one, well, there's, several. there's uh, one at Cryon this evening, but it's an uh, English country cottage now. It's a, well, it was, for letting. Now I'm sitting on a big chair here, trying to look for my, my windmill brush. You know, I can't find it. Uh, yes, I can. There it is. So I can, I can put in a bit of a windmill. I'll, I'll break a bit of that there. So whenever windmills, well, usually painted white, aren't they? Or off white. Uh, 
that's a bit so enough. All right, well, probably a bit, bit of grey might be a bit more appropriate in there. All right, now we've got to get a bit of a roundness on that. I'm only guessing this, and uh, there are many elaborate, uh, elaborate tops, turrets, or whatever. Put a little bit of a shadow in here and we'll, we'll have a shadow on one side I think. Right, that's more or less uh, okay. Let's just get a touch of touch of ochre in there, I think. I'm not really happy with that, but uh, that's us. Okay, uh, we could put up that uh, bit of a uh... oh. sorry about my fin unfinished sentences. I sort of had the thoughts and then I sort of lose it. Right now we've got the shadows sort of coming, light coming from that side, and then we'll uh, just just make that a bit heavier there. Of a bit of a wheel here. Okay, now we'll uh, um, could be a bit tricky. I'm going to use a um, watercolour brush, I think. Uh, and we'll have the put in the windmill sails.
Might something like that. Ruined. This one doesn't quite go through a flat. Well, something like that. So we can the 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 the, the uh, veins or the ah. Uh, well, I'll leave that for a minute. Uh, just try to get that a bit. Uh, Uh, right, now it's a nice green grass, so a bit of... Mm. Nice field. Now we haven't finished our sky yet. Oh. Just slippery, this really. I just start the pond and I'll go back to uh, put some other colours in. Don't uh, have it all one colour. Just okay, we go back to that. That's uh, we're going uphill a bit there. to clean here. Right, I'm going to uh, put in a, I'll put the pond in here and I can have a bit of a reflection there. I don't think that room was very good. But, uh, uh, usually there's not a, it's like a, it's a different shape. It goes sort of shallow there. The, to, uh, sort of a vertical side at the back yeah, that, that wheel is that uh, holds the, uh, the the sail so that when the wind blows it, it, it helps to turn the the uh, sails into the wind uh, best I can explain it right okay now we'll let's get a bit of uh, we'll put a bit, bit more paints where I can't be without paints great I'm going to need another tubulus. Uh, that's the one I want. Right, uh, so my green is a good, good green, is paints grey and, and yellow. The bushes.
put a bit of different colour in there. Right, now, so, now we're going to get a nice, what I'm going to do is just to get a bit of that dark in there and just This windmill is a fat windmill. Uh, right, so uh, we want uh, some uh, some bluey green. Some of that down. Ah. Is that great? Some of that blue in there. Right, I'll try to make that reflect a bit here. We can put in some. Okay, you can push the brush as well. Bit of rough ground there. Right, I've got to brighten those trees up a bit, I think. Just change some of that green, put some air in the uh, bird holes, let the birds fly through. I'm going to sort that windmill out. I haven't forgotten. That's sort of drying, drying a little bit there. Okay, it's a little bit even, a little bit uh, samey, but so uh, we can change that. Let's have a one here. We can texture some of that.
Right, let's get some brighter stuff in here. I might put a bit of a chunk in on that. Okay, we'll let that go for a minute. We've just had a bit of a... Uh, we could do another one then. Quite, isn't it? I'm listening to the radio. All right, now I'll put in a bit of a trunkage. Just to indicate, that you don't need to do anything more, more than that, really, because those I told you that they're trunks, even if they're not very good. Now we've got a bit of a okay, mm, bit probably a bit. Uh, Right, okay, I'm going to leave that. That'll do for that. Uh, now, I don't have this trouble with the... with the... Uh, I don't know how to do this. I'll go back to that. I'll, I'll try to finish the rest of it. I'll go over that again. I can't rest on that. That's a problem.
Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to go back home. So then let's do that start of the sky now. Uh, where's my sky brush here now? Let's change the towering. I've just cut some. Well, if I start with this. I'm going to blend some of this here. Just that. I've hit the green. No, you look at that. Well, folks, this isn't going as well as I hoped. I should have put those trees in first and painted down to the back, so anyway. And, of course, that ends some. A little bit of shadow in there. Alright, that sort of more or less solved that problem, but just put another bit here. brush here. I'll change the brush to a cleaner one. Just blend that into there. Very gentle sky this one. Touch of this burnt sienna. I 
No, I don't like that. I'll there put that. Go back to that blue. Right, it's drying all the time. Um, but this is the problem with uh, Anna Prima uh, in one, in one, which is what I do. I don't like to go back to a painting. Put a bit of texture here. So it's all about texture. So we're going to do that to uh, sail. Reflections. Oh. A little bit of the blue. I don't like to do that. Uh, bit here. Right, um, now I, I don't know how I can do that. It's very tricky, that, those sails. Um, I think I might have been more luck like a chew. Uh, where's my mild stick? Got two of these. Oh, no, okay. Oh, um, I'll get my Get this brush, I'll give it a bit of a clean in the linseed. I'll squeeze it, I'll squeeze it out. a bit of highlight on there.
sun's kind of that way, so the shadow will be on here. Just fill in some of some of the stuff around here, just to highlight it. Right, well that's catching a bit of the light, that's all I can do. Uh, get into that white. Just put that bit lighter there. Oh, that's, that's gone wrong. Well, I've always just so, uh, right, let's uh, pick up this grass here. And that be it. Right, let's uh, get some meadow flowers in. Now I'm going to hold a meadow flower thing. Uh, Well, I've got one here, Alan Owen sent me this one. Oh, I, oh no, no, it wasn't ever Sharon. Oh, right, well, let's put in some uh, poppies and things. My poppies are not the right colour. Well, it's a lovely day in London. Uh, it's on the cold, cool side. So we're pretty lucky to have that, really. The spring we've had has not been very good. In fact, it's been awful, horrible. I only had two barbecues this year. Oh, I've been in some white. Uh, Lovely white. Uh, it's a, a lot of um, cow parsley. Not so sure I like that brush for that. So let's uh, find my little brush here. Okay, I, I, I think that's about as much as I can do with that. That blue. Right, okay, that's about 
Tak sana yönetebilir. Well, okay, I'll put that in frame. And we'll see if it's any good. Always helps. I see those uh, extinction rebellion mob have got kids got into it where the police police were having a committee meeting. Their idea could make it up really. Uh, right, I'll take that one out. I'm going to I'll, I'll, I'll rub this one down and, and redo that. I don't like it. Okay for a demo, but uh, was it quite good enough for Selling anyway. Great way to uh, pin your stick your boards up uh, using masking tape. It's, uh... Oh, oh God, what have I done? Ow. Anger, anger. Well, I didn't swear, did I? Right, let's just repair that sky a little bit. I think I missed the rest of it. Right, oh, okay. That's a perfect fit for the frame. Right, let's find my, my tacks. I'm going to have to, uh, uh, oh no, it's just about fits, let's just take, oh, take that out. I have to lift it up a bit so it all goes into the, into the uh, picture. Oh, there we are. The uh, work sales on the windmill are a bit, uh, a bit naff, but uh, I don't suppose there's a windmill that actually looks remotely like that. But I, I made it up from memory, and uh, I hope you get something from it. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye bye.